Tim and John Jalen Savage uh, are still trying to make it seem like their daughter Joycelyn is a hostage of R. Kelly. They uh, ran to TMZ earlier this week. I think it was Thursday they went to TMZ. And they were like, you know, Joycelyn is still not calling them. She's still not talking to them. And they blame R. Kelly. They say R. Kelly is telling her not to talk to him. And her grandmother just passed. And she better bring her ass to the funeral. And all this dumb, goofy shit they talking about. And I'm like, look, if they're really not talking to Joycelyn, then that's her choice. She's 26 years old. She's pushing 30. She can make her own decisions. She knows how to use a cell phone. She has an iPhone. We know she has an iPhone. We've seen her with her iPhone out in public several times. She can contact whoever she wants to contact. She can call whoever she wants to call. If she wanted to call her parents, she can do that. R. Kelly can't. What could R. Kelly do? He's behind bars. He's been behind bars for two and a half years. And I was going through the comments on the Jasmine brand, and I realized most people, even though they may not be supporters of R. Kelly, are calling out the savages. Because everybody's saying, nah, y'all can't keep saying that she's a hostage because he's been locked up. And your daughter is refusing to speak to you at this point. Which is true. You can't say R. Kelly. He never had them hostage. But after he got locked up, the hostage situa- the hostage uh, claims were dead. The hostage claims are dead. I really hate the savages. You know, Tim Savage is a fucking clown. A woman-beating clown. And his wife is a crackhead. I'm sick of him. They say Joycelyn went to visit R. Kelly at uh, uh, the MDC in Brooklyn. So she visited him. I guess he, he's allowed to have visitors. And she she had a visit with him. And um, there are also rumors going around that he's planning to marry Joycelyn before the year is up. I've had a lot of people tell me that. That he's going to marry Joycelyn before Christmas. Or before the year is up. What do y'all think about R. Kelly marrying Joycelyn? Do y'all think it's a good idea? Or do you think that she will stab him in the back? Because what y'all don't understand is... If R. Kelly marries Joyce, then it has to be an airtight prenup. Has to be an airtight prenup. I feel like he's very vulnerable right now. And, um, of course, he's going to want to have it said that Joyce and his wife, so he could get more privileges, maybe some conjugal visits. I get it. He locked up with a whole bunch of dudes. He's going to want to try to get some conjugal visits from Joyce and I get it. So it will be easier for him to marry her. But the flip side is that R. Kelly is worth a lot of money. I'm thinking about his music catalog. And I'm thinking about the fact that if R. Kelly marries Joycelyn, she will be the next of kin. And if she becomes the next of kin... God forbid she's the power of attorney. And she is a heartbeat away from getting access to everything that he has ever written, to all the money that will come in in case something bad happens to R. Kelly. I'm not wishing bad on R. Kelly. Don't don't, don't get me wrong. 
I want our Kelly to live a long life. I want him to be 100 years old or over 100 years old. What I'm saying is she will have an incentive to get rid of him and split the money with her parents. So when I heard that rumor, I was like, hopefully it's just a rumor. I understand why he wants to marry Joycelyn. If he marries Joycelyn, it would look better in the courts. It would look like, okay, he's a married man. You know, he's trying to have one woman. He's not trying to mess around, leave jail and have a whole bunch of women. Um, it looked better. But we have to think beyond it looking better for him being a married man while he's in jail. I do not trust the savages. And for all you know, Tim Savage could be acting like he hasn't been talking to Joycelyn, but they could be planning this shit all along. Yeah, yeah, you go marry R. Kelly, tell him what he want to hear, and then we're going to get rid of him and split all that bump and grind money, all that chocolate factory, all that tp2.com. You're not alone. Everything he's ever written in the past 30 years will be owned by Joycelyn and her family. Y'all, we got to think about this. We got to think about this, y'all. What do y'all think? Should R. Kelly marry Joycelyn? Do y'all trust Joycelyn with R. Kelly's life, with his money? Do y'all trust her to be a loyal wife. Do y'all trust her to love R. Kelly? The man has been taking care of her even though he's been behind bars. You know. He sold some records under the table to a couple of artists and he gave his lawyers a cut. He gave Joycelyn a cut. So that Joycelyn could take care of the bills and, you know, be living decent while he's in jail. So he has been taking care of her. She's living good. Joycelyn is not starving. Joycelyn is living so good off of R. Kelly. And you know if R. Kelly get out, when he gets out actually, because we got Jennifer Bonjean on the case. And I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud of Jennifer Bonjean taking up this case. And I've been sleeping better since she's been on this case. And I feel like she's going to get R. Kelly out. So when he gets out of jail, he's probably going to do a documentary and a movie about his life. And he's going to make a lot of money off of that. You know, the R. Kelly biopic is going to be lit. I don't know who's going to play R. Kelly in the movie. It has to be a fly dude. It's going to have to be the flyest guy. You can't just, anybody just can't play R. Kelly. You know, R. Kelly is one, of, one in a million. One of a kind. A true genius. Who would play R. Kelly in the movie? But anyway, like I was saying... R. Kelly has a lot of earning potential. So people laughing and saying, ha ha, he ain't got no money like that no more. That's how it is in show business. You know, you're going to make a lot of money, then you lose a lot of money, then you make a lot of money back. That's just how it goes in that type of business. R. Kelly is never going to be without the potential to make millions. Because of who he is, he could do one interview and get $5 million. He is ratings gold for TV. If they made a movie about his life, people will watch it. If he drops a documentary tomorrow, people will watch it. People, whether they like R. Kelly or they don't like R. Kelly, are always all up in his business. You got people on here, on, 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 on YouTube, who have been paying their bills off of bashing R. Kelly for the past two years. R. Kelly is a money maker. 
So for anybody who's saying, oh, he ain't got money like that no more, what could Joyce and get? R. Kelly's earning potential is so high. He can make millions. Once he gets out of jail, with the right team and the right lawyers and the right publicists, he could spin this thing into getting back on top. He's not going to be in this position forever. We got Jennifer Bongean on the case now. He's coming home. So again, I say, do y'all trust Joycelyn? Do y'all trust Joycelyn Savage to be a loyal wife? Do y'all trust her that she won't stab him in the back for her family? Is she working with her family on the low? to secure R. Kelly's assets and split the money with them. Is that what she's doing? I'm starting to think Tim Savage just acting like, oh, he ain't talking to his daughter, y'all. He's talking to her. Should R. Kelly marry Joycelyn? I don't trust her. I bite my tongue on her, but I don't trust her. I don't trust her with R. Kelly's life. You put a gun to my head and say, is Joycelyn going to be faithful? Is Joycelyn going to stab R. Kelly in the back? When it's money involved, when it's millions of dollars involved, people get real ugly and real nasty real quick. Everybody feels a sense of entitlement to R. Kelly's work and his profits from all the work he has done over the past three decades, almost four decades. They feel entitled to it. Oh, I had sex with you, R. Kelly. You need to give me some money. I was your girlfriend. You should have gave me a career. Even though I had no talent, R. Kelly. I was R. Kelly's friend, and he didn't give me no money. Nobody wants to do anything for themselves. Everybody just expect him to just take care of them like they're children. I want R. Kelly to be happy. I know he tired of being in there, not having sex with any woman. I know he tired of it. He, he, needs a, he needs some conjugal visits. We know that he's a man. He has needs, he needs some conjugal visits. He wants to marry Joycelyn. It's gonna look good for him to be a married man. I get it. But I just don't trust the savages. I do not trust the Savage family. I don't like them. I don't fuck with them. I want R. Kelly out of this shit and away from all these people. You're never going to get me to 100% trust Joycelyn. Yes, she's been laying low during this whole trial. You know, she's been staying out in the media, off of social media. She hasn't been clout chasing. But she could just be playing her role for the moment. Once she get that ring, we're going to see the real animal in Joycelyn come out. She's going to feel like she holds all the cards now that she's his wife. Y'all, this is such a mess. I wish R. Kelly never met these people, y'all. I wish he never met him, but like I said, I feel a lot better now that Jennifer Bonjean is on the case, and she believes in R. Kelly, and she even said, free R. Kelly, in a tweet on, tw on, on Twitter, and I was very happy when I saw that, because none of the other lawyers ever said, free R. Kelly. I feel like she's really invested in this. I feel like she really believes in the law, and she sees the injustice, and she wants R. Kelly free. That's what I believe. I slept so good. And she got on the case. When I found that out a couple weeks ago, I felt so good. I was elated. I was elated. This nightmare is going to be over, you guys. The king will come home. And, uh... He's going to continue on with his life. 
He's going to continue on with his life. And he's going to live a long life. That's what I want. I just want him happy and living a long life. I sent him a ta Thanksgiving card. I'm going to send off his Christmas card um, after Thanksgiving. Because, you know, when it gets to the jail, they take a time to process it. So I got to send his card, Christmas card off early. And then his birthday card and his New Year's card. I hope they're giving him all his mail. Hope they're giving him all his mail. But we'll see if he marries Joyce or if that was just a rumor. Because it's a lot of people telling me this. And I'm nervous, y'all. Like I said, I don't trust these motherfuckers. Anyway, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly. And fuck anybody who don't like him.